Right folks, I've waited till I've got up the hill. <clears throat> Very steep bit, I've done the steep part. I thought I'd wait till I got up that bit. Yeah, there we are looking over. Hill Fort down there. Sanford Quarry on that hill there. Um, Banwell Woods right up there sticking up. Right in the distance you've got Western Supermare. And we've got a field up. Shipham's just down there, Shipham, Rowbarrow. Rowbarrow's just over the hill. We're approaching Rowbarrow Warren now. And the same old jeep still up there. Right, hold on. Okay, that's what I'll get some out of your way. There we are. There we go. So anyway, that was a nice jeep. Some nice people around here. Imagine having that place to, to live there, with the veranda and the views you'd get from up there. How beautiful that would be! <clears throat> you can't take it with you in your go, though, can you? Home is what you make it. That's what's true as well. Home is what you make it, if you, as long as you're given a chance. I mean, that's the thing. When I come out, see, I see all these beautiful, peaceful homes. Out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, it's beautiful up here, isn't it? Beautiful. Everywhere. Daffodils are out. And the daffodils look lovely today. Look lovely. That Jeep's been there for years, you know. I don't know if it's the same one. I got pictures of that Jeep going back 10 years, I reckon. Hollow End, this is called. Hollow End. And look at that view. Somebody coming up. Somebody walking up. Two people walking. And if you go... If you go on down through there, look. Follow that track. You come to the village... You come to Rowborough. And Shipham if you go down there. There's somebody following up behind me now. Um, they only look like they're strolling. I'm going to let them pass. I just do a bit of rambling on while, while I sort my bag out anyway. So I'm going to go down there in a second. Just going to stop and sort my bag out while those people walk by. Over in a Still need your coat on. I reckon I'm going to need it on all day, actually. Because when I get up on the area of outstanding natural beauty, there's a wind. It's from the east. And I reckon it'd be nippy. It might. Uh, the wind would drop when we get go down here in a minute. So this is Sheila leaving Shipham, entering Rowbarrow Warren, and I'll be walking down this track to the stream at the bottom, and crossing the stream, going up a familiar track, so a lot of people know it will be familiar as I climb up because I'll be heading for 
the area of outstanding beauty. So I've got to climb up through the wood. I've got to climb right up. So that's what I'll be doing. And I think I can see somebody coming. So I'm going to turn off again for a minute. Is it a horse? Yeah, it's a horse. Over and out for a minute then. Uh, so, like that. Right back on again. That's the horses going back up there. Look, I had to turn off when I went past them. I'm just having a bit of a Yorkie bar now, just to give me a little bit of glucose for when I go up the hill. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep my coat on that. Just a, just a bit of a frisky breeze. Right, folks, the battery went on me back there. So I waited till I got halfway up here and decided to use up the photos because it was still okay with photos for quite a while sometimes it will go off very quickly with the video playing so we've been up here a few times now if you have followed me we've seen the scene those two stumps there and and in a minute we'll get to a junction and I have been down that way before and right round and round and round and round and then gone up the hill fort which we're not doing today Today we're going to bear more that way around, heading for the area of outstanding natural beauty. Now since we've been here, there's been a few trees down, which is to be expected with four storms that we had. Um, Eunice, was it Dudley was another one, Gladys and something beginning with F. We had a few storms and they blew these trees down, some of them. But I can remember when this was quite a narrow little path in the early days, it was really a bunny, a bunny track. And that was dense. It wasn't cleared like this. It was thick. So, since I first came up here, there have been just constant changes and you can get disorientated. Hold on, let me just turn off a minute. I was just saying you can get disorientated when they cut the trees down. So you think to yourself, oh, where? They were here last time I was here. Okay, over that minute. That tree looks a bit ill. A few trees down. Um, I had to turn off again abruptly because somebody was coming. It looked like they wanted to chat, so I... Like I said, I was talking about disorientation, yeah. When you come up and they suddenly, say they suddenly decided, which they probably will do, to cut all these down, right? When you come back up here, it's like when they cut all those down. That used to be a little narrow path that I came up. Like a bunny lane. And, uh... When I first seen it a couple months back, or a year ago even, I thought, where am I? And it happened to another place where they suddenly cut down a whole block. Because if you think about these trees, they're commercial trees really, and they're sort of planted in squares. Or uh, in plots, put it that way, in plots. So they, so every now and again, they might decide to cut the whole of a plot down. You know? And that's what they've done. And sometimes you, you go somewhere you think, I don't quite know. But I did notice there was a big board back there, which I'd like to have seen. There might be another one. 
but those people had um, taken the board over. <sighs> these aren't dead, these trees. They're just waiting for a bit more. They're more guarded up here because they are exposed to the elements. So they don't come showing their buds too quickly. Probably not to the end of April where they really come out. <sighs> and I've got, of course, videos all seasons up here. All seasons. Glorious summer, autumnal autumn, spiky, spiky spring, wet winter. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I do wander amongst the trees. I do like actually going in. You feel like you're with the trees. I do it sometimes. It really depends on the time I've got. Sometimes it's quicker to wander through. Especially if there's herds of people coming. You can easily go off and wander in. Pick up a little track in the wood. You sometimes feel like you've been in the wood more if you go off these tracks. When I get to the gate, looking out to the area of outstanding beauty, that is when I will look at the time. I haven't mentioned time up to now, because time can dominate your walk if you ain't careful. The best part of my walks are usually the first half. Well, I'm not talking about getting a bus, having to speed up, and I can just rest, stroll, enjoy. I can hear people coming all the time. That's why I cut like coming out in the week. I expect part from the summer holidays it didn't make any difference. Otherwise you get all families out. And uh, it's not anyone's fault but kids and families are quite noisy creatures. They're quite noisy. They can't help it because they're in a group. You imagine six of me talking. <laughs> oh a nightmare someone would say. Oh no, great no. One of you's enough. Ooh. <sighs> so basically all I'm doing is weaving up up that path ahead heading for the area of outstanding natural beauty and today the aim is to walk across the top all the way to the trick point on this occasion. Not go down to Tiny's farm. Because I want to walk through Longwood. But it will, I'm sorry to say, be slightly influenced by T-I-M-E. <coughs> slightly. It's a big wide path. I have done them all. I've done all these paths. Coming up from different areas. Yep. Right, chill off for a bit now, folks. Right, here we are. I've climbed up a bit more. Widen tracks. It's this plot I've walked mainly amongst. This plot here, where I've walked a lot in and out of here, leading up to the gates in a minute, and the area of outstanding natural beauty. I spotted something orange then. Could be a workman. It could be bollards for the riders. Yeah, all this looks dead, but it ain't. It ain't dead, it'll all be coming to life soon. 
We're nearly at the area of outstanding beauty now. So I thought I'd just do a little bit more videoing of the Robo Warren Wood in the winter, at the end of winter. This is the end of winter now, everyone. Coming into spring. Spring officially in three days' time. Monday will be the official day of spring. Now, the other thing is, um, it's nice weather. I'm thinking of doing a cycle tomorrow, a small one, just local. It'll be a couple of hours cycle. I always find if I do a cycle when I've had a little bit of knee irritation, a cycle seems to sort that out. I did it last year, I went for a cycle and the knee somehow just rejuvenated itself. I can see somebody coming. Every time we put the video on, somebody comes. There are people with um, a bike and there's a somebody coming. Can we come in? Right, turn it off for a minute. 